Welcome back to Dems Biking Adventures. Today we're going to take a look at uh, my 2023 Norco Fluid FSA2. Uh, go over some of the good, bad, and uh, some of the upgrades that I've done to it. So st stick with us. Yeah, the Norco Fluid FSA2. Great bike. Absolutely great bike rides beautifully a um, couple little issues that got taken care of by the local local bike shop but uh, to make things a little quieter uh, I know some people run into with the rear hubs uh, having issues I know uh, mine was missing a bearing right from factory um, but since then I've upgraded to uh, Orbea carbon rims with uh, DT Swiss uh, 350 hubs on it. Um, what a difference in the firmness of the bike and uh, its handling. Uh, notice great abilities. Also upgraded the uh, front brake rotors. Uh, a little heavier duty. Um, going to these hubs, I had to uh, had to upgrade the rotors. So these uh, TRP four, four piston brakes, wonderful stopping power. Uh, honestly, have to be uh, really careful with them. So another uh, issue I had with the bike is the chain ring that came with the bike was actually mis mismatched with the Shimano. It uh, did not work well with the Shimano. Um, so after hearing about this issue from other people, uh, the local, my local bike shop, great guys they are, switched everything out, uh, went with a new crank, new chain ring, and uh, new chain on there, and everything is uh, as quiet as the whistle now. No more uh, front grinding gears or anything, so that's awesome. I haven't had any uh, any other issues with the bike. Like I said, this thing. Uh, performs it uh, locks, likes a lot more speed than what I can uh, feel comfortable giving it other add-ons I've gone with the uh, one-up pedals absolutely fabulous it's like uh, having your feet glued uh, glued to the pedals uh, I never find them coming off whatsoever uh, been doing jumps drops with it and I've just been fine with it also went with the uh, one-up handlebar grips and this side here i don't know how it got ripped but it got ripped and i contacted one up and one up is uh, sending me out a set i don't know if uh, i didn't figure that the warranty it looks like it might have been cut by something i don't know but uh anyways no questions asked i just sent them a picture of it and they're sending me out another one so you know one up's really great to deal with uh my most special thing on here is Chicky Chick. Can't forget Chicky Chick. I seen this at my wife's work and I just had to put Chicky Chick on the front. Uh, I'm still looking for a name. So if you guys uh, watching this, do you have any ideas for names? Let me know. Um, I'll fill for some of them. I have uh, my light mount and my GPS mount. Um, both Garmin mounts work well. Also have the, and this is always stiff to get out, uh, the one-up multi-tool. Um, this one I just have the plugs in, but it's got the multi-tool. Uh, this is the uh, threadless installation. Um, don't get any rattles, everything seems to work great there. Work less, ride more. One up model. And uh, I would love to be doing that, working less, riding more. Try to get out riding as much as I can. Uh, the other thing here is I have the uh, one up pump. Um, and it also has the tool set in it. The uh, reason for having the one up pump in that is when I switch to the fat bike with the winter, I just transfer over the pump and I have all my tools right there um, 
so yeah, no, uh, no issues with that pump so far. Haven't had to use it, knock on wood. Um, I do have the uh, Garmin cadence sensor as well as the speed sensor. You might notice there on the rims. Works well with the Garmin device. Um, just more to help track how much effort I put out and uh, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, dropper post. Uh, the SDG dropper post works great. No issues with it at all. Not yet. Um, the other thing I, I forgot to mention that I did put on here is I put on uh, a set of carbon bars. Um, noticeable difference in them. I found that the aluminum had uh, a little more flex and give than what I liked and I found the, the stiffness of the uh, carbon handlebars uh, quite a bit different and uh, I felt feel a lot more sturdier on it. These are 800 mils. Um, I seem to work well with that, uh, that length. Um, but you know, this uh, race face uh, handlebar great bar great bar so far so you know besides the issue of having you know the mismatch chain ring which you know a couple other people online have had as well as the uh you know the rear hub um being a bit of a pain on them uh this this bike works great easy nice and nice to climb with beautiful to go down the hill with um, I did put on a, uh, a chain guard because according to Pink Bike on their initial videos that sometimes he's, uh, it likes to throw the chain. So if I put it on the chain guard, I haven't had it come off once. So it's been awesome. Nothing bad to say about the forks. And uh, we'll see what next year holds in upgrades. But uh, going for the Norco Fluid FSA2, don't hesitate. You got a chance grab one great bikes um i can't you know can't say anything bad about it anyways i'd like to thank you for watching uh watching this uh quick review on the norco uh, fluid fsa2 um if you like what you see please like hit the subscribe button and leave a comment uh until then get out get riding have fun, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.